Now, from your weather authority, here's Chief Meteorologist Dan Smith. Only a few Contra Valley residents ended up seeing rain today, but take a look at this. This is out in Grape Creek earlier tonight. Has this nice little downburst. You'll be able to see some of the wind coming out of that. Really cool stuff as we move over. Kind of that zipper effect going on about just as quickly from that storm. You see right where that rain is dumping, just concentrated over there. Had some on the north side of town too. I was having dinner on Chadburn, and another friend who was having dinner on Chadburn just about uh, a mile south said, "Well, we didn't get anything. Meanwhile, we got poured upon on the car. 79 degrees." at the airport right now. So very pleasant Friday evening there. Winds about 5 to 10 miles an hour, not too shabby at that. Didn't exactly get a lot of rainfall, including no measurable rainfall at Mathis Field. Now the winds kind of became the bigger story out in Grape Creek at 55 miles an hour. But some flood advisories in uh, just on the periphery of the viewing area out there towards uh, Reagan County and parts sort of north and west. Tiny little guy up there just trying to form now towards Robert Lee. The chance is still there for getting at least a little bit of isolated shower activity overnight. Moreover, it'll be a, just a copy and paste sort of thing for tomorrow. Maybe even a little bit cooler if the clouds have anything to say about that. Still looking up towards the uh, Metroplex as we kind of have been for this almost southwest flow into the Concho Valley. And a little bit of it kind of got into Runnels, Coleman County. Ultimately, I think it's going to fall short for most of us overnight. Viewer photo time, though. Chuck Montgomery took this. I uh, presume out by Jim Bass Ford here. Really nice with the American flag there and really nice Thunderhead to go along with that. That might have actually been the one towards either El Dorado or Sonora earlier that was producing a surprising amount of lightning for what you typically see for some of these systems. Marquita also lovely crepuscular rays. What you always call those rays of sunshine sort of coming through the clouds there. And same with this, you really see the rain shaft going here much like you did on the tower cam. Just absolutely blowing out there. And just clear skies, otherwise really cool stuff. And Dennis King, speaking of cool stuff, take a look at that. Lightning just really flashing up the sky. This was tonight, by the way. You can see the rain shaft also highlighted on the left side of your screen. If you do have a photo like that, facebook.com forward slash Dan Smith weather or email me dsmith at klst.net. I know a lot of you sent them in, but uh, we got to keep the show going here, unfortunately. 98 degrees was today's high, 68 the low. This number was a little bit surprising over there. I thought we would stay a little bit close to the low 90s. Didn't really take. Futurecast look ahead, and really it's just going to be dissipating overnight, coming back here for the afternoon. That's at least some good news. Could have a bit of a repeat going. Winning with the weather, courtesy of Parsons Heating, Air Conditioning, and Appliance Service. Congratulations to Moretta Hook of San Angelo. Congratulations to someone from the station will be in contact with you so that you can pick up your $300 worth of gift cards. Forecast for tonight 70 degrees, maybe a few isolated showers here and there, and put a 20% chance on the board. 30% though going on. For tomorrow, Sunday, Monday, and then starting to dissipate a bit on Tuesday, otherwise holding fairly steady in the mid 90s up through then.